What's up gamers, welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to play theme park in Rainbow Six Siege. Before we go any further, links to all my socials in the description below, so make sure you go check those out. Now, theme park is very similar to Oregon, which we talked about last week, in the ways that it really comes down to angles and utility, but what also comes down to this map is lots of map control. It is, I feel like, one of the bigger maps, one of my least favorite maps, to be honest, because of all these things I've already mentioned, the map control, utility, and angles. It's really annoying to attack. It's very defender-sided. But today, we're going to be going over how to master this map, whether you be on defense or attack, and win any game you play on Theme Park. Now, I feel like Theme Park has been picked a lot less due to the map banning system inside of Ranked, um, but it still is very important to know in case you have an Outback Chalet Theme Park map pool, uh, you probably don't want to play Outback or Chalet. Theme Park might be your best option there. So today we're just going to be going over how to play Theme Park. Now, I feel like a lot of people, first off, make the mistake of thinking Armory and Throne is the best objective. It's really not. And the reason for this is all these yellow walls are destructible. As you see, inside of the actual objective, not counting these outside walls, there are only two walls that you can um, kind of maneuver, enable, kind of change there's no site reconstruction you can do can't make any angles these holes don't do much you can open up a small hole so you can throw a c4 or a smoke grenade onto the breach but other than that this whole site is pretty much how it is now these soft walls are very important to be honest you can make some footholds and watch into dragon but that angle works both ways as an attacker you can buck or uh, not sledge because obviously you don't want to sledge into the objective but you can block, uh, buck Sophia Ash, shoot open a hole in this, and you can get an angle all the way to back into this um, fireplace corner, which is a very strong place to hold as a defender. But the main thing with this objective um, that I feel like people, as I said, think very incorrectly of it is that there's no site reconstruction. Um, this whole objective on the this side, this army objective, can be controlled from upstairs. The only places that are safe, or the only place that is safe, is this fireplace corner, which can be cor uh, countered by this single wall right here. All above thrown and split, you can't open up. It's all a hard floor. But pretty much, I wanted to get that out of the way. I feel like probably the best site, or one of the best sites, are going to be either of the upstairs objectives. Probably, I feel like a lot of people will be picking initiation, which is this objective, and this objective, office, and initiation. And the reason for that is it's a lot more defender sided you can put a shield here open up these walls now you have an angle onto the cash push uh the same thing works the other way almost you can extend put a shield here maybe make a rotate here extend put a shield here now you can watch this cafe side push and basically this is where the utility and angles start coming into play on throne there's not too many angles mainly utility but on this map there's gonna on this side on either bunk or office uh the two objectives upstairs there will be lots of angles and utility these are common shields to place lots of common operators will be a smoke will my goyo maestro um somebody like that some operators like that that bring the utility bring the shields bring the destructibility and you can put a shield this is what i personally do i put a shield right here to watch the control push i open up this wall and these walls and as a smoke player i can throw a smoke from behind my shield and in initiation I can smoke off bathroom door. I can smoke off the breach. I can smoke off. That's an epic line. I can smoke off the um, desk plant. I can even smoke off the vault push or this push. There's just so many angles and it really comes down to being creative. There's vertical angles you can hold all the way down from maintenance through a hole in the floor. You can watch into control hatch. And what this map really comes down to onto the third point or the fourth point is the map control. And what that comes down to is, as you saw, we extended for initiation, we extended back this way towards bunk. It works the opposite way for bunk. If the objective is this room and this room, you extend by opening a hole here, putting a shield here, reinforcing these walls, these walls, shield here, some holes, watching this push, watching this push, maybe a shield here, watching this push. Now, the only way that the defenders or the attackers can push is cafe. And even then, you can put a shield here, ADSs, well, my magnets. Um, all over this place they can't push this way they have a shield here with utility to clear over here they have a shield here they have a shield here not to count these reinforced walls which you can put mute jammers on um, not to count as well if somebody's playing top arcade here with a shield to watch these pushes there's just so much so many angles here we have five shields right you can bring five shields you can bring goyo which has two well which has one smoke has one 
uh, and that last shield can either be uh, Valkyrie shield, Ella shield, Alibi, anybody like that. Lots and lots of utility. The Wamai and the Jaeger bring the anti-projectiles. And even if you have, you can use shields mainly just as a distraction. Like this shield, you can actually place a little bit farther up onto this doorway actually right here onto this waiting room doorway move this shield up and then maybe put this as a goyo shield they try and push waiting room or they just destroy this shield for free now there's fire they have to wait 10 15 seconds before they can push and while they try and push there's angles that you can be seen from yellow stairs can you can see from initiation there's just as you can already tell all these angles all this utility and that's what makes it really defender sided now you might be wondering well how do you attack this map the main way you attack has to be into the push. It's hard to circumvent the push. Um, well, not into the push, into the setup. It's hard to move around the setup because you can be set up for literally every single push with the operators in the game. There's not going to be a very well-known weak spot. Mainly what happens, I feel like, is a lot of people try and take too much of this map, right? So, for example, if we're using this setup uh, where there's we're pushing onto bunk and daycare, you have a shield here, you have a shield here, and you have let's say the shield here now you might be like oh well the weak side's cafe well not really cafe is a push you really don't want to do simply because you need to usually funnel through this door or funnel up a staircase or two and what happens is let's say right here playing this you have a mute mute has the best shotgun in the game they can swing you one pump you need to funnel through this door maybe there's some long angle from on top of this bunk through these walls onto the cafe door Maybe there's somebody playing here with the shield. You can't push up arcade stairs. But pretty much, there's no weak spot. Um, the cafe push is a bad push, in my opinion. So what you need to do is you need to focus on one spot. You need to have an end goal. You can't be like, okay, we're going to take initiation, and we're going to take office, and then late round, we're going to flank up Astro, uh, we're gonna flank up arcade stairs, and then push in as somebody's coming up um, yellow stairs. You don't have enough one manpower and two utility clearing to clear all these shields, to clear all these angles, um at the same time so you need to be very organized and very centralized on what push you want to do you can't be trying to push office and initiation because you're going to need to clear this shield and this wall and then watch the flank through this hallway so mainly you're just going to like i've been saying repetitively now so focus on one push i feel that this happens a lot for people trying to push the downstairs objective what a lot of people like to do is push this yellow side because this is the best way to push in my opinion you open up the top you open up above and then you can go and you plant on this pillar and there's really nothing the defenders can do except swing split and swing this double door if you maybe have a cappy tower or something that can get rid of the person fireplace or a grenade something like that then there's nothing this person can do either and it's really really strong for the attackers but what makes that push difficult is all the map control you need to take upstairs this is yellow stairs right to clear and have control of yellow stairs you need to clear from one side of the map over, whether it be cafe or cash. Usually, we'll use for this example, we'll say you're clearing from cash. You need to clear this way through initiation, through waiting room, this way through cash, through office. As you're cleaning through waiting room hall, then you need to clear bunk and break room because you can't just push up to here and stop because somebody can come up arcade stairs and shoot you. Somebody can be, can be tucked maybe in this corner, maybe in cafe, um maybe you have, they have an oryx or something that can come up this hatch you need to take all this map control and hold it you need to take the whole upstairs and then not even counting the downstairs control you need to take which is going to be um this control right here because if you're trying to get this wall you can be swung from bathroom from this hallway from this hallway um impact trick did for impact trick from above so you're going to need somebody upstairs watching for an impact trick you're gonna need somebody watching this hallway maybe somebody maybe this person let's say can watch both then you're gonna need somebody watching this hallway and then you have your breach person right now let's say that you have four people alive you have the one two three and the person upstairs that's the four well a defender flanks up dragon kills your person upstairs now this push doesn't work you need to retake upstairs but you can't retake upstairs because then you leave one of these angles unwatched and you can be flanked again from bathroom or one of the hallways not even counting the people on objective so as you can see this map is very map to, uh control dependent utility dependent and angle dependent which makes it very defender sided and the only way to counter this is by being centralized and organized and having a goal and working to that goal of a push rather than trying to push everything at once that's what a lot of people make mistakes on this map and why it is very defender sided just the way it's built 
not even without having to push into everything just the way the map is constructed people always tend to take too much or try and take more than they need but that's pretty much all for this video if you learned something new or enjoyed remember to like and subscribe all my socials are linked in the description below thank you for watching and peace out gamers